A couple of weeks ago, the people at CVT stopped by to pick up the trailer, took it back to their shop so that they could replace the outdated latches with the new, better, stronger design. As they offered to bring it back, it didn't seem quite right to have them drive it all the way back up here. Besides, going and picking it up means that I can get out and explore some new places. This trip, the plan was to stay in a hotel as the tent was still mounted to the trailer. Waking up the next morning, it was clear that that was the right decision, as there was a fresh dusting of snow and more was coming down. A quick stop in at CVT picked up the trailer and two new pieces of gear. A 79 inch CVT awning with walls and a new Dometic dual zone fridge freezer. After the awning was mounted to the commander, we headed out to see if we could find any information about the starting point for this year's Memorial Day trip. I wasn't surprised to find that the campground was still locked up for the winter. A little bit of looking around at maps, we decided that the Prineville Reservoir was the place to see. way to the campground and recreation area for the reservoir to find it mostly empty. Taking the time to drive around, pick the best spot, we noticed that one of the cabins was still available for rent. Since it was still cold and wet, it seemed like a good idea to go check out. I have to say, it was a pretty good decision. It was warm, dry, and it was a nice change. The next day it was clear and cold. The reservoir was beautiful. It's definitely on my list of places to go back when it's warm enough to get out into the water. to get out and explore a little bit before it was time to get back in the Jeep and make the long drive home. Unfortunately, the new awning and Dometic fridge didn't get into use on this trip, but I have no doubt that they will be great additions to the gear on the many trips planned for the rest of the year. <laughs> 